Hey guys, it's Rachel, and today I'm going to be filming my September favorites. Um, September seriously went by so fast, and so much happened this month, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of get started. First, I've been loving my MAC Studio Sculpt Concealer in NW20. Unfortunately, I do think this has been discontinued, but um, I got this almost a year ago, and I kind of stopped using it for a while, and I was using a different concealer, but I kind of rediscovered it this month, and I have been loving it. My only issue with it is that it's very thick and a little bit difficult to blend, but once you kind of get it blended in it works really really well my urban decay primer potion and normally I'll just use a MAC paint pot but I have been loving this this month I don't even think I've used um, my MAC paint pot this month so I would highly recommend this it keeps your eyeshadow on all day and you would be surprised how many times I've gotten asked this month how I keep my eyeshadow on all day and how it doesn't crease um, and I just tell them primer eyeshadow primer you can get it at the drugstore you can get it at Sephora or Ulta um, just any kind of eyeshadow primer will do um, but I really love this one and I would highly recommend it. I have been loving, loving my Naked palette. I love it so much more than the Naked 2 palette. Um, it just has more warm tone colors and shimmering colors, which I love glitter. I'm like seriously obsessed with glitter. So I love this, especially Sidecar and Toasted. I've been loving so much. Um, I would highly recommend this palette. It's a little pricey, but for 12 eyeshadows and it lasts a long time, I would definitely suggest that you get it. I have been obsessed with the Maybelline Falsies mascara. It seriously makes you look like you have false eyelashes on. Um, it looks great with one coat and it looks even better with two. I would highly recommend this. It's You can get it at the drugstore. It's inexpensive. I think it's like around six or seven dollars and it is amazing, amazing quality. It's just fantastic. My Benefit Hervana blush and I got this with my birthday money. Um, this year and I have been wanting this for so long when I finally got it I knew I was gonna love it and I do it is such a pretty light pink color when you swirl all these together and it, it actually has a really nice uh, scent it like kind of smells really sweet and like candy I really like the scent of it and it's just such a pretty color it's a little expensive it's um, around $28 but I would definitely, definitely recommend it. And it lasts a long time as well. So when you think about how long stuff lasts, then it kind of makes it worth it. I've been loving my MAC lipstick in Hue. I got this over the summer, and I didn't really wear it much, much at first. Um, but this month, I've just been wearing it so much more, I guess, because it's getting into fall time. And it's just such a pretty color. It's not too nude, and it's not too pink. It's just the perfect in-between. I've been loving my NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Dolly Pink. My friend Mary Beth actually got this for me for my birthday, so thank you, Mary Beth. I love it, um, which is why it's my favorites. Um, and I'm actually going to try to get her and uh, my friend Kelsey, who I'll mention later, because I have one of the things she got me um, that I really love, to film a video with me. Hopefully, we can all get together, and we're probably going to film like a haul video or something soon, so get excited for that. Um, but I love this lip gloss. It's such a pretty color. It's a really bright pink. I'm wearing it today. I just kind of have it sheared out a little bit. Um, but it smells like Cherry Jolly Ranchers, and it is amazing. It's not sticky at all. It's such good quality, and I would definitely recommend any of their lip glosses. I have been loving this OPI Nail Polish in Heart of the Holidays. I got this at JCPenney's for only $4, which is a really good deal. And I love red nail polish. It's probably, like, my favorite nail polish to wear, um, especially when it's, like, this kind of red. It's, like, a really kind of deep-ish red, but it has such pretty shimmer in it and it just catches the light and it's so pretty. I have it on my nails right now, but my nails look disgusting. Um, they are chipping. The chipping isn't even the word. Like, there's barely any nail polish left on my nails, um, but it's such a pretty color and I would highly recommend you check it out. It's it's amazing. I have a perfume favorite and it's the Aqualina Pink Sugar Perfume and I got it less than a month ago and I already used that much out of it. Um, this is amazing. Every time I wear it, someone says you smell really good or something smells really good and it is just incredible. It smells so good. This probably won't make a lot of sense, but it kind of smells like cotton candy, but deeper, like more sensual, I guess, if that makes sense. It is amazing and I would highly recommend that you go into Sephora or Ulta and smell it. You will not regret it. It smells so good. Um, if you don't like sweet scents, you probably won't like this, but if you like really sweet scents like I do, you will love this. That's all of my beauty favorites and then I have three fashion favorites. So my first one is this cheetah print um, gray and black infinity scarf from Old Navy. This is from my friend Kelsey. She got it for me for my birthday. So thank you, Kelsey. I really love it and you know I love it because I wear it to school all the time. Like, literally, I wear it at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. It is just my favorite scarf. It's so soft, and it's just 
amazing. I'm just obsessed with it. It's so cute. My last two favorites are both shoes. So my first shoe is these Rocket Dogs, or are these Rocket Dog Flats? And I don't know the style number, but if I can find them online, I'll link it below. Um, but normally I don't wear these that much. Um, but this month I've worn them so much more than I normally would. Normally when I go to school, I just, uh, throw all my rainbows and go out the door, but I've been wearing these so much this month. I love them. They're a little uncomfortable when you first get them, but once you break them in, they're super, super comfortable. And I would definitely recommend you get a pair. They're, I guess, kind of pricey for flats. They're not too bad. I think these were like $45. Uh, but they're really good quality, and I really, really love them. Uh, but you have to be careful because the um, bottoms are really slippery, so I slide around at school, but that's okay. So my last pair of shoes and my last favorite are the Jeffrey Campbell Litas in black leather. I got these from my parents for my birthday, and I am obsessed with them. They are so cute and so comfortable, believe it or not. I know they look really uncomfortable, but they really are super, super comfy and easy to walk in. Um, they have a really tall heel, but they have also a really tall platform, so it um, makes them a lot easier to walk in and a lot more comfortable. If you want to see a review on these, you can comment below requesting that. I am also working on a style video for these and how I style them because I got requested to do that video. Um, but I love them, and I really want to get a new pair for Christmas. Um, Maybe ones with spikes or something. I don't know. They're just so cute and I love them. So that is all of my favorites. If you have any video requests, you can comment below with those. And if you have filmed your September favorites this month, you can leave it as a video response below because I would love to watch it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye.